Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim uh, Welcome to our beloved course Grammatical Structure uh, We are going today to continue talking about the verb tenses uh, Last time we talked about the uh, the simple present and the present progressive and uh, still there is just one thing that you should know about the uh, progressive tense uh, before we we continue uh, to uh, another tense which is the future tense the simple future today uh, so if you go to your book page 16 uh, on page 16 we have something that is called uh, non-progressive uh, verbs what does that mean? it means that there are some verbs that we cannot use in the progressive tense that we cannot uh, have them to express something that that's happened now so uh, let's meet and be introduced to these verbs we have verbs like know, believe, doubt uh, like, dislike, appreciate, belong, and all of these verbs I hear uh, sound, consist of, exist, seem, all of these verbs um, we cannot use in the progressive tense. Well, sometimes we can use with them ing, but if we want to express something that's happening now, we cannot do this. By examples, it's going to be very clear uh, I'm going to read from the book because I cannot read from the screen it's blurry and not clear so let's have exercise 7 which is uh, uh, a warm up exercise something to warm uh, to warm up um, our memories about uh, the progressive verbs number 1 the chef is in his kitchen right now so we have let me explain the board we have what we have right now and uh, I said last time when you see right now think immediately of the verb plus ing so the correct answer is is cooking so this is the correct answer the chef is in his kitchen right now what's he doing he is cooking we are describing uh, what this man or what the sh what the chef is doing so he is cooking number two he some soup uh, can we say he tastes or he is tasting some soup well he tastes would sound okay but I would go with his tasting because now he's tasting now so he is tasting some soup when we say he tastes some soup means it's something that happens every day and this is not English this is not uh, correct English maybe it's correct in grammar it is correct grammar to say he tastes some soup but the meaning is not correct we have to pay attention sometimes the sentence looks uh, okay the sentence looks uh, uh, grammatically correct but the meaning is not correct he tastes some soup means every day or he usually tastes some soup and this is not logically sensible so he's tasting why because he's tasting now uh, number three uh, it tastes too salty or it is tasting too salty well when we say it tastes too salty uh, this means this is a fact the soup is salty has a lot of salt in it and this is a fact so it is it tastes too salty this is the correct answer it is tasting too salty means it is tasting now too salty and after one minute or two minutes it's going to be something else uh, maybe uh, sweetie maybe uh, sore which means uh, Hamad in Arabic 
So, if we say it is tasting too salty, means just now it is too salty, but this is not true. So the correct answer is no, is A. Uh, he does not like it, he isn't liking it. The answer I would say, he does not like it. Why? Because uh, this is this is a fact. He does not like the uh, the soup. So let's check our answer and see. This is page sixteen. So number one, two. You see here. Uh, let me close this. So you see here the exercise 1 and 2, B, 3 and 4, A. Back to our exercise, page 16. So you see, uh, from this exercise we learn that the verb taste uh, can be both sometimes we, we can use it in the uh, in the uh, progressive tense and sometimes we cannot uh, use it how do we know well it depends on our knowledge the more we know about English the more we can decide how can we choose uh, the correct verb tense this is number one number two it depends on the meaning of the sentence as we saw here it tastes too salty why because it is, uh, it is a fact, and we cannot neglect the fact. Uh, if we say it is tasting salty, it means now. This is very important. If we understand the meaning of the verb, uh, of the progressive, uh, progressive verb, we can understand why uh, we choose this, not that. Let's see the rest of, of the verbs. Uh, we have I know your cousin. This is this is a fact. I know your cousin. I know your father. I know your uh, family. This is a fact. I cannot say I am knowing your cousin. I am knowing your father. Why? Because the progressive ing means just now. Maybe after one minute, two minutes, one hour, two days, three days, something else happens. But when we say I know your cousin, this is this means a fact. I know it from yesterday. I know it today. I will know it forever. Uh, and uh, the same is true for all of these verbs. I believe. Uh, I believe today is windy uh, and dusty. When you say I believe, because believing has to do with uh, your ideas, with, with your thoughts, with the way you think. So all of these uh, uh, verbs that has to deal with, uh, uh, all the verbs that have to deal with uh, uh, your feelings, your uh, opinions, with your senses, like I hear, I touch, I smell. Um, uh, touch is something different. I smell, uh, or I hear, or it sounds. All of these verbs uh, uh, usually, usually, uh, are not used in the progress uh, in the progressive uh, tense. But sometimes, depending on the on the meaning of the sentence, depending on the meaning that we want to express, uh, uh, we can use them in the in the ing like uh, tasting for example so this is very important uh, and I wanted to draw your attention to it uh, before uh, we uh, end the discussion about uh, the uh, progressive uh, verb so here we have some uh, examples for common verbs with both non-progressive and progressive meanings uh, like think for example so let's have number one it looks cold outside this is a fact it's cold outside so it looks 
cold outside but Olga is looking out the window so there's a difference between it looks cold but uh, looking from the eyes we can use it in the uh, ING uh, form or in the progressive form so it, it depends on the meaning of the sentence it's very very easy just decide whether this is a fact something that is true or is something that can be happening now uh, Jack appears to be tired today she is appearing on a TV show today so here we talk about uh, the appearance of, of, of someone uh, how he looks like but she is appearing on a TV which means she is on a TV show she is uh, 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 for example having an interview uh, on a show or something like this so there's a difference between appears here and appearing here I think that Mr. Liu is a good teacher I am thinking about my family right now I think means here has to deal with your opinion but I am thinking here has to deal with your with your thinking that you are thinking of something right now it's not opinion here I have a bicycle this is a fact I am having a good time why because you are talking about the uh, time being the current time that you are enjoying your time I am having a good time do you see that bird the doctor is seeing a patient right now so do you see see now has to deal with your uh, with your vision uh, you are trying to see something but here the doctor is seeing a patient right now means he is dealing with with a patient he is trying to treat a patient here it does not mean the doctor is seeing a patient like this now the doctor is seeing a patient means he is treating the patient he's trying to uh, see what problems he got the soup tastes salty as we say the chef is tasting the soup something smells bad what is it Anna is smelling the perfume to see if she wants to buy it uh, or not so the difference between smelling something now and smelling uh, uh, something which is uh, uh, like a fact or an opinion of your thoughts so this is it about uh, the uh, non-progressive verb you have here a little exercise which is very nice you can read them and try to uh, uh, to see more the differences between these verbs uh, as I said, we cannot do all of the exercises. Also on page 18, there are some good exercises uh, because if we are going to do all the exercises, we cannot finish the course. Um, and I want to give you more information than the information that you already know. I know that you know uh, the present simple, the progressive ing, uh, ed, you know all of these. So I want to give you uh, more information because now you are uh, English major students. Uh, so let's uh, go to uh, uh, our uh, lesson today which is about the simple future and again let me uh, draw the timeline this is the timeline this is now this is past and here's the future so we are going to talk about something that will happen Oh, this is not this is a row an arrow oh, sorry what happened uh, yes again okay. so we are going to talk about the future today something that will happen in the future not now not in the past you will do it in the future I will so again we are going to know the uses of the simple future how to make a questions negatives and some practices but today I am going to give you something new we will have some exercises before we do the um, the lecture and then there are some exercises after the uh, after the lecture so we have what is called pretest and post test pretest means uh, a test uh, before something post a test after something so we have here the pretest we are going to test our knowledge about the future so we have some exercises here the stores 
uh, at noon today is going to close, are going to close, am going to close. So which, what is the correct answer? I'm not going to tell you the answers. You are going to have the answers after you finish the exercise. So please do the exercise and then see your score. After you finish the exercise, you will see the answers. Please don't cheat. Uh, and then after you, you have your score, go to this uh, slide and you will see the description of your level. So if you score 20 out of 20, you are excellent. Go to the post test. You don't need to study uh, uh, today's lesson. If you get 90 out of 20, you are very good. Uh, you just try to review your incorrect answers. Uh, from 18 to 20, you are good review the incorrect answer and study the rules presented in this module, do the practice exercises and then go to the post test. So uh, if you score less than 11, uh, you need more practice. You need, you need to listen very carefully to our uh, practice uh, or to our lecture today. So depending on your score from the pre-test, you are going to decide whether you need today's lesson or not. So let's start uh, today's lesson. Uh, you use the simple future tense when you talk about future events or plans. So talking about your plans, future plans or future events, you are going to use the simple future. And there are two ways to uh, uh, using the, um, the future and we are going to talk about them in a minute. You also use the simple future tense when you want to make a prediction or make a promise. I'll make you an offer you cannot refuse. Uh, I'll buy you this if you give me this. So this is something like a promise. Or making a prediction, I'll score, uh, for example, an A plus in the score. Uh, I'll go to Mecca. This is a future event or plan. Uh, I'll, um, I'll do an MA and a PhD after I finish my undergraduate studies. This is uh, a plan. So all of these uh, are the uses of the simple future. There are two ways to make the simple future tense. In this module we will present pattern one. We are not going to uh, the mutual simple future tense part two we will present uh, pattern two uh, uh, I'm going to present both of them actually but to make it easy for some of you not all of you I know some, uh, the majority of you are um, good students but uh, uh, I'm expecting some students to ask me what's the difference between uh, going to and well well the easy answer is there is no difference uh, and for those people who want to be experts in the English language well I see in my view that there is um, a little difference a, a, a slight difference between going to and well um, going to I would say for the immediate future for the a very close future, something that's going to happen, for example, in a, in a minute or one day or two days. Well, for the far future, something that's going to happen maybe uh, in one year or one month, it depends uh, on your situation. So this is uh, a very slight difference. And for people uh, who ask uh, which pattern to, uh, to use uh, in our language, in our daily language, in writing or speaking, I would say both. Try to vary using uh, uh, both patterns, either going to or well. Um, but some people try to avoid using going to because they, they mix it up with ing and progressive, so they, they like to use uh, well. So, uh, if we want just to have an example, let's have a subject, for example, I, B, uh, I am going to uh, 
and then a verb, the base form, the, the normal form. I am going to study. The base form means we add nothing to the verb. No S, no ING, no I, no uh, ED. Or we say, I will study. So you see, this pattern is looks more easier or uh, easier than uh, the uh, other pattern. So this is pattern one. I am going to graduate next May, and then we have uh, some uh, some signal words that help us um, to know that we are talking about the future tense uh, tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening tomorrow night uh, the day after tomorrow next Monday next week next weekend next month so next the day after and tomorrow are the main signal words that always used with um, the future time uh, sometimes today today I, w I will go to uh, to see my doctor uh, today I'm going to uh, visit my aunt uh, this afternoon I am going to have uh, some lunch with with friends uh, in 10 minutes I am going to leave the room uh, in three days uh, I'll be finishing my report so all of these uh, also expressions are used with the future time sometimes soon soon I'll be uh, uh, a teacher uh, soon I'll be uh, uh, an engineer tonight uh, I am meeting my friends so all of these signal words which are used with the future time so the affirmative sentence affirmative means the, 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 the normal sentence not the negative sentence so all of these uh, you know them that I takes um, you takes or he takes is she takes is and etc then going to study and tomorrow I don't want to explain this uh, more but if you need more explanations just just email me or or uh, phone me up or on the live session in the live lectures just ask me to to elaborate uh, I am going to watch a movie tonight you are going to see the doctor tomorrow uh, Miguel is going to fix his car later today all of these examples of affirmative sentences uh, negative sentences very easy the same as the affirmative sentence but we add not where do we add not we add it here uh, after the subject and verb to be and before uh, going to this is very important we, we place we put not here in this in this place after verb to be but with will, with will it is different with will uh, we put not after uh, after well uh, so uh, here are the examples I'm not going to watch a movie tonight you are not going to see the doctor tomorrow uh, I'll leave you uh, read all the sentences for yourself contractions a contraction is the combination of two words uh, into one in contractions letters are replaced with an apostrophe it's like here I am not it, it becomes I, I not I am not it becomes I am not you are not you are not or you aren't all of these uh, called contracted forms uh, as I told you before we use them uh, in speaking not in writing she is not or he is not becomes his his not or he isn't she is not uh, it is not it becomes it's not we are not becomes we're not or we aren't uh, they are not becomes they're not or they aren't Here are some examples of contractions in negative sentences. I am not going to watch a movie. It becomes I am not going to watch a movie, etc. This is not very important. 
yes no questions how do we make yes no questions very easy verb to be we move it to the beginning am I going to study tomorrow are you going to study tomorrow is he going to study tomorrow very easy and we should not forget question mark why to indicate that this is a question so don't forget to add uh, the question mark uh, how do you answer these questions uh, either you say yes you are or no you aren't and etc I'm not going to waste uh, a lot of your precious time because I am very sure that you have studied all of these before uh, and here are some examples uh, WH questions who what how where and which and again please don't say that I'm not uh, explaining everything I want to explain everything but I know that most of you have studied all of this before so if you need more explanations just ask me I'm going to say it in Arabic uh, so let's back to our business um, our business here um, the WH questions what where when why who and how the same as the yes no questions and then we add the WH question here and here are some examples and here are some exercises I the laundry this afternoon I am going to do the laundry why very easy because I takes am it does not it does not take is or are so it is I am going to do the laundry Elizabeth to a pool party next Saturday so it is a because Elizabeth one person and it, it takes is Elizabeth is going to we at the new Italian restaurant tomorrow night we are going to eat I'll leave the rest for you here are the answer key and here are the uh, your results so after you finish uh, uh, the exercise you should go to your results and see whether you are excellent very good or good or you need more practice so this is the post test now so if you score 20 in the exercise before go to the post test if not you, you need to do more practices go review all the exercises before you go to the post test here here's the post test and here is the answers and again after the post test if you score 20 congratulations you understood the future tense or the future time or maybe you are very good you need just some review good you need to review uh, a lot of the difficulties that you faced or you need more uh, practice so uh, this is it about the uh, future tense or the simple future very easy uh, either uh, you want to express your uh, your uh, intentions to do something uh, in the future future events or plans or predictions or promise so you are going to use going to or well I am going blah 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 I will blah 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 uh, one thing that I just need to assert here because I think I did not include in the slide um, yes here uh, here in this slide if you want to have an example about uh, well I sorry I will not will be placed here after well this is the difference between well and going to not before going to but here not after well I will not study for example tomorrow so this is what I want to, to, to explain to you thank you for uh, watching or listening and I wish you all the best.
थैंक यू वेरी मच